In this devotional, I'm going to share with you three thoughts from Psalm 135, verses 5 through 7, where I'll answer the question, why praise the Lord? Psalm 135, verses 5 through 7 says, For I know that the Lord is great, and that our Lord is above all gods. Whatever the Lord pleases, he does, in heaven and on earth, in the seas and all deeps. He it is who makes the clouds rise at the end of the earth, who makes lightnings for the rain, and brings forth the wind from his storehouses. The Psalms repeatedly tell us to praise the Lord over and over again. This message, this command, this direction to praise the Lord gets repeated all throughout this hymnal built into the text of Scripture. Why does it say it? Why should we praise the Lord? Why is it continually repeated. It's a constant refrain that the people of earth, all people, not just the Jewish people, but we are all to be praising the Lord on a regular basis. What is the purpose for this? The psalmist gives us some reason why we should praise the Lord here in Psalm 135 verses 5 through 7. Thought number one, he is great. You praise the Lord because he is great. You praise the Lord because he is greater than all other gods, all other forces in this world. No matter what else exists out there, no matter what spiritual powers and authorities might be there, the Lord, the God of Israel, is over and above them all. He is the supreme being. And because he is the supreme being, he is deserving of our praise. Not only that, but because he is the supreme being, he is deserving of our praise and none else are. Why would you praise something that is secondary? Why would you praise something that isn't the ultimate? The psalmist tells us we praise the Lord over other gods. We worship him before anything else and above everything else because he is great. Thought number two, he does as he pleases. Now, I would like to say that I do what I want. I would like to believe that I was able to do what I want in every single circumstance. But the fact of the matter is that I'm constrained by so many different forces from doing what I might want to do. I'm constrained by my own nature, meaning I can't just up and fly around, which I might enjoy doing, but I can't do it because I'm a human, so I can't just fly around. Also, I'm constrained by societal constraints. I might want to walk around in Hawaiian shirts all day, but my culture has dictated that that is not something that respectable, upstanding citizens do. I may want to do all manner of things, but I'm constrained. I'm constrained by my nature. I'm constrained by society. I'm constrained by my bank account. I'm constrained in so many different ways, but the Lord isn't like that. God does as he pleases. He is able to exercise his authority and control over all things and is controlled by no one. The Lord does as he pleases. Because of this, we praise him. Thought number three, he controls creation. The psalmist goes through and talks about how he is over and above the mountaintops and the deeps. He controls the lightning and the rain and the clouds and the wind and everything that's happening in weather. All of those things for the ancient world, these are things that are uncontrollable, uninfluenceable by man. You might think, oh, well, I saw in Star Trek once that they have control over the weather. And one day we'll be able to establish that here on Earth too. But it in the ancient world, they didn't have any consideration of such things. They weren't thinking about it in those terms. What they saw is that the Lord does what he wills with creation, things that mankind is not capable of influencing. The Lord controls creation, and you praise him for that because he is able to bring the rains that you need. He's also able to withhold them when you've angered him. For these reasons and so many more, we praise the Lord. We give him honor and glory because he is so much greater than we could ever be. These three thoughts come from the assigned reading of Psalms 134 through 136. If you'd like to read through the Bible with me, you can do so by clicking the link below that attaches to the assigned reading or by joining the Facebook group Through the Bible.
where we are reading the text of Scripture together.